Hi everyone, you're coming along to join me for the fun of me trying to attempt a snail mail flipbook. Never done it before, so as I said, you're joining me for the fun of the game. Um, I haven't got a clue how it will end up, but we'll see as we go along, I suppose. That's the wrong tool. Just try to find my scope. In here. Right, so what I've got first of all is a 6 by 12 piece of cardstock. Well, it's supposed to be cardstock, it's not very thick, but it'll do for what we're doing. And I'm going to score it at. You've got six here. You've got six here. So I'm going one before the six and one after the six. And it's just to give me a a proper fold like a bind. I'm hoping this card hasn't cracked, and I've got a feeling it has, but it's alright, I'm going to be using washi tape over it anyway, but I just wanted a bit of substance. I'm filming, will you be quiet? So it's going to be like that and then have that as we're folding to work on but because this is cracked I'm going to try it again because I've got another bit of card here and we'll just see if we can get it without the cracks this time I'm just gonna end. oops I've went over a bit too much this one. Oh, silly me So what I'm going to do is make that a decoration and I'll do the same to the outside so we can see Oops. and it matches. Right, that one doesn't crack so we're, we're doing well with that. Oops, sorry, I got a bit bloody there. Right. My guillotine. Okay. So I'm going to fold it if I pull you in a bit. Hopefully you can see I've got two score lines so it's the middle, the nearest the middle I'm scoring. I'm going to fold it that. So that's the far away one. And then the one straight after that, I need to fold again. And it's just a little bit fidgety. Because I've got the double scores, but that's it there. Ah, line up properly. Gonna burnish them now. Oh dear me. Okay. Right, so that's my binder for us to put our flip book into. It's not very straight actually. Might need to trim it, make it straight. Oh, get an avalanche beside me. 
Now we've got this again. Scoot that there. Almost. Let me line it up properly. That's that one straight. I'm going to just extend the other one and get make sure that's straight as well. Again, it has cracked at my seam, but I'm not worried because it will be getting covered. Right, so that's the, in, the outside done. Now, I have got a few 6 to 6 papers here. My goodness! Got a few six by six papers here that I chose from the country garden line. Um, it's this paper pad here by Simply Creative, and there's a lot of nice papers in it. The 12 by 12 is a 200 GSM, and the six by six pad is a 180 GSM, I'm sure. Oh, it's not, it's 120 GSM. So the idea is I will double up. That's why I put the card down first because I will wear these. Because they're just too thin to be using them on their own. But they're a lovely paper. So here we go. Right, I've got pink one, blue coloured one, striped, spots. And that's another grey coloured one, so I think I'll use the pink on the insides here, like that, and we'll see how we go with that to begin with. Let me move them over. Um, where's my glue? I do want wet glue for this, so let's see. Put so I'm just making sure that my glue is down at the base, and then I'm going round. And I'm not putting tons of glue down, you don't need to. And Amanda, if you're watching this. I'm being spared with this because I'm waiting on a parcel from you, madam. Mm -hmm. Make sure that my... Yeah, and I'm filming though, I can't really see. I'm just moving that right up to the crease line. And then I'm just moving it over. That's the wrong crease line. Take it to that one even. Would be better. That's better. Um, 
I've got a little sleeper in here somewhere. And that's just to make sure that the glue's gone all the way to the edges. If there's any loose edges, I will use my Cricut glue pen for that. So that's the first one on this part here. I will intend to cover it anyway, so I'm not worried about that. If need be, I can trim it off. Next one is this one here. So what I will likely do is put the book together and then I'll come back on and do one with the decorating and adding the extra elements to it because I don't want it to be such a long video and decoration is quite a personal preference so it means you can choose what you want to do yourself. that's that down. Now I want, let me see, and it also means when I fold these flaps in, because it's got a tiny little binder there, it's not going to be too bulky, we hope. So, let's see, we have got want a bit of a heavier duty one for this so we'll have that and that maybe so when that flips in it'll be blue and same with this side maybe we'll have, we'll have the line and the blue like that I will add a different paper. Let me see. Oops, too red. Let me just see what I've got. Uh, there's a smaller one of that, I think. I think I'll add that one. The flip so the two of them are blue then we open up and we'll go I think I'll add spots in there and we'll have the two grey inside right so let's stick these two together so I'll move that out of the way Go with this that way, like that, and that. And I think I'll put a small binder between them just as an extra support. So, let me see. Uh, white card stock. Does that look like? Where is that? Oh, white card stock's run away. Oh, I've got plenty of it. I forgot. Right. So, 
what I'll do is I'm just going to roughly chop this down to any five. Small guillotine, whatever it is, it's here. And I want just a let's see, two inch binder, but I need two of them, so that's one. And I'm just making them four inches long. And these are just going to go the length of the papers so they have got a really good bind between each side. Bring in my bring in my score two. And we scored them at one inch. Okay. Listen, I'm filming. What? I know this so I can do them, please. And again, the other one at one inch. Done. So what I'm going to do with them is add that in there and then I'll also add that to the other side and it'll just give it an extra bind. So I'm just Right, so I'm just going to add some more wet glue. Just going to put that in like that. Flatten it down. Add a little bit more glue on top of it because I obviously want it to bind both papers together like that. Then we want this to go on top that way. Just line them up. Uh -huh. There we go. And then doing the same as I've done before, just using my credit card scraper, just making sure that the edges are all bound properly and just go over where the hinge is as well. If I th had thought I would have done that before I put my paper down on those sides but it's okay because I haven't covered the front yet so I will do it that way instead.
sort of it over the front and into the inside so when I cover the front page you won't notice it so we'll do the same with the next page only this time the let me see that way I need to transition this wait a minute so that's going upwards that'll be going there so I'm just going to make a wee map there and and there so that's the size that I'm adding my hinge to so let me just start adding some wet glue Ian, don't even start annoying him. Right, well, just leave him be sitting happy you now. Hinge in. Wait a minute, I see what way the hinge is going to go. That's going that way. Is that right? Wait a minute. So the hinge is going that way. Had to think about that. Make sure that it's loose enough. Lots of days there. Like that. Line these two up. Come on, you move. I think you want to move for me. That's a bit better. Right. Did I add some over that? No, I didn't. So I need to add some over the top of the binder. There's another wee bit in the corner. And then we just need to smooth it out with our credit card scraper again. So I'm just going up and out. And remember it's a wet PVA so if it goes and leaks out it will wipe away easily. Right, like that. Perfect. Right, so then we are going to be adding put that there. That's going to be going here. Okay, because that's not upside down though. That's going to be going over that and that's going to be going over that. So I'm just going to shut those pages over a minute. And bring in another sheet. So I'm going to add, let me see, what one do I want to add? I think I'll add the butterfly at the front since I absolutely love butterflies. And I think we'll add small birds to the back. And it just keeps it all in theme. So the front is going to be here. So just going to add 
Right, I'll stick this down first, I think. So I'm just adding quite a bit of wet glue there. And I've got Madman from Scrimpies having a conversation. I can see it bleeping on my phone. <laughs> but I'm busy, ladies. Can't be doing it now. So. That just folds over like that. Give that a good squish down. I'm going with my scraping tool. Then we are adding our butterflies over the top. And this is my first attempt at a flip book, so if it looks pants, sorry ladies. <laughs> right. Again, just going in with wet glue. I have tried the quick flip books before um, using washi tape and if I'm honest it just didn't have the longevity I would have liked. Um, it just didn't have enough substance to it to hold long term. So I would never ever send anyone it because I think even going through the post it would cause issues so I'm just going across that way and I'm quite happy with that you can see there that it's got a bind but it's not overly and we will be putting some washi tape over the top to decorate it but it's not going to be the standout thing. Right, so next page. Get that one there. Line it up. Put our wet glue down. And fold it in. Going to open it so it's got a bit more pressure on it. Give it a good squish down and then top it with my paper line. Again, oops, I'll add some extra to this part first. I'm kind of hoping this is easy enough for even beginners at flip books to get the idea of. And I've used 6x6 six because six it's quite a generic size. And most of us have 6x6 six six papers and moustache. 8x8 eight eight, some of us don't have and a lot of us don't have 12x12. 12 12. So, and even if you don't have 6x6 six six in your stash, if you get magazines or anything, you tend to get freebies, which are usually six by sixes. So you should maybe have a few samples from there. Worst case scenario, print some off for the computer and you can cut it down to a six by six. I'm just going to squidge over this. As I said, we leakages are fine. It just means that you've had enough glue down. Which is exactly what you're wanting. So I'm just pulling that out. Make sure it's well stuck. And that's kind of our base done. Now you could easily... Oops, a wee bit of glue seeped out on top of that. Never mind. Um, those birds are upside down. So, ah, that's how. 
I was wondering. Right, so that's our front. And you could easily, if you wished, add extra slips on up here or flip it up that way as well. That's totally up to you. I'm just doing the double flip um, just because it's for quickness and I really need to get this posted tomorrow. So I want to try and make sure that it's done. So that's the base of your flip book. I hope it's helped and I hope you have a wee go. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.